Brim is a waste of money. We shouldn't be spending brim. There are a lot of people who criticize the use of brim. Let me say this. I told you already we spent 40 billion ringgit on total subsidy in our budget last year. And a large chunk of that for fuel. Why do we introduce brim? Because when we reduce the subsidy, that means increase the petrol price and the diesel, many people who are in the bottom 40%, they could not afford it. They really struggle to make ends meet. So the government have decided we factor the cost, the additional cost of fuel for these people as a result of the price increase. We then put it in a money form and give it to them in the, cost, in the form of brim. That means all the people whose income are below 3,000 will receive it in cash to recognize the increase due to putting the price to market. What did we do when we implemented GST? The same thing. We calculated the 4% increase that could happen for items that are procured and purchased by the bottom 40%. We put it in 300 ringgit for brim and then we added it onto brim because that is payment to compensate for what was coming out from the increase of inflation due to GST. So this is, GST is not the waste of government money. It is money that we save from implementing GST, or well, from uh, subsidy rationalization, and additional revenue for implementing GST, and we give some for the people who really deserve and need it, people in the bottom 40%. I am of the view, and the whole cabinet, it is a collective decision of the entire cabinet that we believe that BRIM is a good methodology to assist. By the way, this idea of BRIM originally came from Bank Nagara. Bank Nagara were the original group that said we have to implement BRIM because when we rationalize the subsidy, when we begin to introduce GST, there will be some inflationary impact. And therefore, we better give some cash to help those who really deserve it. So I am of the view that what we're doing under this is correct. 